It protects our skies at home and carries out a vital combat role in Iraq and Syria. Eurofighter Typhoon is one of the RAF's most valuable assets. It is a pleasure to fly. Because it's so automated, because it's been designed right from the outset to be an easy aeroplane to fly, you haven't got to worry about constantly checking oil systems, fuel systems, hydraulic systems. Yes, obviously you keep an eye on them, but the aircraft is far better at having computers that monitor all those things for you the whole time, which just makes things easy and it makes things much more rewarding. You haven't got to worry about flying the aeroplane because generally, 99 times out of 100, it's almost flying itself. And while the pilots generally get all the glory, there's an entire team behind them to get them in the air. Air power is complex. You can't do it without a lot of people doing a lot of different things. From across the whole spectrum of uh, resources that have to be brought together and all of those people working together to deliver the mission. It's early morning at RAF Lossiemouth and breakfast service is already in full swing. So on a daily basis we provide four meals from the combined mess, starting with breakfast with the chef starting at 0600 in the morning and then we go straight on from breakfast, straight into lunch where we feed roughly about 250 people coming through our server at the minute. We've got a couple of exercises going on, probably feed about 150 at dinner time. Another full server for us followed by one officers and sergeants mess server at five o'clock until quarter to six at night, where our dinner service finishes. Just like the team feeding the base, those out protecting it by the wire are also working round the clock. Me and my dog will go out to patrol certain areas, make sure they're protected, and just protect, making sure there's no one on that area that shouldn't be there. And if there are people there, we go through some procedures to get them out of the area. So we're here to protect the aircraft as their critical asset for the station and the area. And we're just there to make sure that they are able to take off and not being damaged by anyone at all. Hiya. The admin staff are the unsung heroes of the base and deal with all the paperwork to let the others concentrate on getting the jets in the sky. I am the first person that anyone on the squadron comes to. Um, I'm the clerk, so I deal with everything from visa applications, passports, inoculations, making sure everyone's in date fitness test, terminations for when anyone's leaving their RAF out of areas, so anyone going deploying overseas, anyone else moving to a different camp, uh, we, we do all that here. The Typhoon is one of the most advanced jets in the world and keeping track of all the parts that keep it in the air is a vital job. So here I'm processing an S2 state for a jet out in Operation Shader. By processing I'm ensuring that the, all the correct serial number, part number and other details are correct to ensure it's the correct part for the correct jet to maintain air safety. The light are set. What he's going to do is just go lean against the wall. Keeping a check on the pilot's fitness is where Sergeant Rugby comes in, putting them through targeted exercises so their bodies can cope with the G-force. So ready, that's quite a demanding position. We're going to increase the stress in this and get to squat right down. We're going to check the alignment, everything is good, and then we can get them going. So if we get the pilots doing things like this, we can get them understanding their body, learning their own posture, and how to engage that through exercise. And as well as making sure the pilots are physically up to the job, it's important their equipment is also in top condition ahead of takeoff. This is the Typhoon Pilots Aircrew Equipment Assemblies, which is vital life-saving equipment in the eventuality that they may eject into the sea or land. It's really important that they have this equipment um, due to the nine Gs that can be pulled in the Typhoon. Um, they have a full coverage anti-G trouser system and they also have uh, coverage within the flight jacket, which inflates to protect against G. 
Uh, I've got the immersion suit, which is again vital. Should they eject into water, this could keep them alive for the, uh, the time needed for the rescue services to come and get them. And it's important that we carry out our checks to ensure that the aircraft can go flying again. If anything of our equipment is missing, then that grounds the aircraft and they're unable to fly. So I've just been flying. I don't get to fly as much as I'd like, uh, as much as the other pilots, um, but as a station commander, I do still fly the Typhoon. I can go to all the other sections and see what they do, be it catering, uh, refueling, uh, keeping fit, um, administrative support. Um, I can go and see all of those parts of the mission, but you also need to go flying in order to see that part of the mission. And each one of those is essential to it, so you need to be able to fly in order to do that. And of course, uh, flying is enjoyable. I like flying typhoons. What goes up must come down safely, and the equipment on the typhoons themselves must be checked thoroughly. 24, 23. So if, if these were to, to fly off on the runway, it would cause foreign object debris, which uh, can close the runway, and aircraft diverting to other stations. However, they may be low in fuel when they can't divert, so it's very important that these are very are secure and the runway remains open. And when the jets are down, the technicians make sure everything's in working order before the next pilot gets in the cockpit. It's people's lives at, at the end of the day, so we need those checks to be carried out to the best of the, uh, of, of the guys' abilities. Um, you know, safety is number one, and that's, that's priority. And then it's time to fuel up for the next exercise. So got the aircraft back in, got power back in the aircraft, got the pilot out. I'm now currently refueling it. So I refueled it on the internal aircraft, then I've gone on to filling the supersonic fuel tanks. So we just put uh, just under 4,000 kilograms worth of fuel on because the aircraft's going to be flying in roughly an hour. Every job's vital. There's not a single job that isn't part of the overall mission. If we didn't do them, we can't deliver the mission. And for us here, it's a 24-7 business as well. So we are always active. We are always on operations. We also have people all over the world all the time, 24-7. Uh, so for the two and a half thousand people here, it's a busy, busy job, it's a busy place, but it's an exciting mission and we're all working towards the goal.